Welcome to another Ben Taste Random Things with a Blindfold. Uh, tonight we're doing wine. We're being very sophisticated, as you can tell. Um, not just any wine. We're doing Walmart wine. Uh, I have before me the more expensive option, Kendall Jackson. Pretty sure that's right. I'm trying to remember. I can't see anything, so I'm trying to remember what uh, I think that's Kendall Jackson. And then over here, okay, <laughs> barefoot, okay? So $18 a bottle versus $7 a bottle. Yeah, $7 a bottle, folks. I've got expensive taste. All right, uh, Pinot Noir, by the way, for those taking notes at home. Pinot Noir. Anyways, um, as you can see, I have poured equal amounts into identical glasses. So I had no way of knowing which is which. And uh, I do remember that I poured them into, you know, right and left glasses. But now I have this lazy Susan that I'm spinning around. I have absolutely no idea which is which now. Um, <clears throat> The wine glasses themselves are Game of Thrones themed. Nice little touch, I know. Um, okay, here we go. So can can we taste the difference in, in $11? Does $11 buy us better wine? That is the question we are answering tonight. I probably should have said that at the top so that you guys weren't bored at this point. Um, but here we go. So <clears throat> without further ado, uh, we're going to start here. I'm going to give another spin just because... Um, we're going left hand first. Cheers for those drinking at home. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sniff, sniff test. Mmm. Okay. Uh, again, I've not had either. I have had barefoot in other varieties. This kind of smells like barefoot. I don't know why. I just, I think this is barefoot. We'll, we'll find out. I'm gonna taste both first. Here we go. It's good. I'm pretty sure there's barefoot. We'll find out. I can't see. All right. Um, the other side. That is the taste of cheap wine, folks. I'm just sorry. I'm just, I just, I know these things. Um, by the way, if there is not a significant difference, I will be getting barefoot for the sole reason that it took me three seconds to open this bottle. This bottle <clears throat> took a little longer, took a little bit longer. Not as long as it took to find the eye mask that I'm wearing, which is totally the first one that I bought several months ago and not the second one that I just bought from Walmart five minutes ago because I couldn't find the first one. Definitely not true. All right, here we go, second one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they can smell. This has more sense of things. I don't, it just, it smells, it smells it, like it has more ingredients added. All right, here we go. By the way, I should point out that the Kendall Jackson is 14.5% alcohol by volume. The Barefoot is 13.5. So. There is a two proof difference between these two. That could, that could factor in folks. That could really factor in, which is gonna make me drunker faster. This is Kendall Jackson. I am putting all my chips in that basket. All right, let's find out. Ooh, that's bright. Mm. And I was correct. That is Kendall Jackson. And that is in the, in the uh, wolf uh, Game of Thrones, um, um, Wolf and the Dragons. It doesn't matter. You guys don't watch Game of Thrones. It doesn't matter. Um, so, the, okay, so I, I can tell the difference, obviously, and I guessed right, and I was pretty confident in my, my guesses. So the question remains, which tastes better, and is it worth $11 more per bottle? No. 
Thanks for watching.